I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. First myth of today's episode is... 1. Get Kakona her boyfriend. 2. Go to the day when they sit next to each other on the rooftop. 3. Kill Kakona or Riku, your choice. 4. Will Kakona or Riku try to attack you since you killed their loved one? Okay, if you guys did or did not know, I tried that the very first time, I believe. I did Yandere Myths regarding these relationship goals right here. So what we're going to do since we already have them... It's your choice, by the way. We are going to go up to the bench, even though we could just do it right now. And I tried it before, like I said, and it didn't work for me. Um, I killed Riku, and then Kakona didn't do shit, and then I killed Kakona, and Riku didn't do shit. But apparently, they do shit now. Like, they do shit. You end a laifu, they will fight you. So we got Riku right here with his forever alone, awkward hand ass. He's just holding the air right now. <laughs> oh my god, what a freaking loser. Okay. And Kakona should be coming up. Where the fuck is she? So actually, let me fast forward through this and let's see if she goes over to hold Riku or if she just lets him become awkward with his hand just hanging over the air like that. Nope, she goes back to class. Okay, so we got to do it on Wednesday. Let's go. All right, I fast forwarded to the next day, which is Tuesday. Riku, he's not going to be awkward for long. We got them both on the bench, so let me take my knife, foo, and this bitch is life, foo! And Kakona is gonna attack me, fuck yeah! No. And she's strong as no. shit! I couldn't even start pressing the letter Q. She already pinned me down to the ground like my shit don't stink. And that line didn't even make sense what I said just now, but I just felt like saying it, alright? Okay, so it is confirmed that Kakona will attack you if you end Riku's life, foo. Alright, this time I'm gonna do a little bit of role reversal. I'm gonna kill Kakona this time, so blah blam! And Riku, yup, he's coming at me Terminator style. He's like, oh, you killed my fucking waifu, bitch! Well, and your laifu! Nope, not today. Not today, mother sucker! Mm. So, yes, if you kill Kakona or Riku, the one that you left alive will attack you. What was once debunked is now true. Thank you for asking that. On to the next one. What does it look like if you put the camera in cinematic mode during the date thing? Can you still play the date? Okay, so we have our favorite purple-headed people right here. Let's send Kakona over to the fountain. And then same thing with Mr. Riku. And basically, you want me to see if we can play it in cinematic mode. So that should be pretty easy. Or you're asking what it would look like, I guess. So we have them over here. And it's E to assist suitor. Okay. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. So let me run over here. And come on, come on, come on. Do it. Yes, I got it. She's peeking over. You can see here leaning against the tree. And then Riku is now putting on nothing. He has nothing. Well, he's putting something in his ear. Kakona's going to turn around. Yay or nay? Yes, she is. And she just starts blushing out of nowhere. Can I still play it, though? That's the question. All right. Let me just press something random. Uh, alright, I'm pressing random keys. And nothing's really working. I don't know if you guys can hear me pressing shit on my keyboard right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm pressing everything that I can. I'm trying things and it's not working. Let me see if I take it off cinematic. Okay, it just takes me back to this. I'm pretty sure it wasn't letting me do anything because I can't say any more negative or positive remarks. Well, actually, yes I can. But maybe I did it and then it didn't do anything. But you know what I want to do? I want to put it in cinematic mode and then lean against the tree. And let's see if I can actually take out my camera and reposition myself or like go into a glitch. That would be pretty cool. Let me check that out. Alright, let's reposition the camera. Let me run back here. And... Where's Yandere's face? Oh, okay. There you go. Got it? Yep, got it. There she is, peeking over, and I counted how many keys it would take, like a lame ass, to try and trigger Kakona making some kind of facial animation. So let me see if I can do it. I gotta press down twice to go to the display you're, like, flexing or something like that. So let's do this. Did that work? Nope. Okay, it still didn't work. Oh, there you go. See? She shook her head no. So you can play the dating game, so that is true, but... What I want to do is I want to take out my camera. Ah, oh, you can't take out your camera. Okay. 
So to answer your question, I just tried it and you guys saw it. Kakona shook her head. That means I did ask her something and then she replied with a no answer. So that is true. Even if you put it in cinematic mode, you can still see it like this and you can still make all the choices. Thank you for asking that. On to the next one. This is one crazy glitch that you have to do. Make sure you do it right or it won't work. One, have Kakona and Riku matched. Two, make sure it's the next day. Three, go into Cyrano mode and go behind Kakona and Riku walking together. Four, kill them both but make sure no one notices. Five, teleport to the roof. You will hear about the dead body and getting to safety. Six, if you look over to where you killed them from the roof, their bodies won't be there. Seven, go to the courtyard and you will find their bodies there. Eight, pick one of them up. You will see what happens next. All right, so I have Kakona and Riku matched already. So it's Cyrano time and Bob Got them both? Nope. Adoken. I can't believe she didn't notice that Riku died. Okay, now we're going to the roof. Oh my god, is that a dead body? And let's see, is there a dead body there? I don't see anything. It says gotta get to safety. Okay, so the next step is to go over to the courtyard and we should see their bodies. So let's see if those bodies are there. Yep, they're right over here. So I'm gonna pick one up and let's see what happens. Let's pick up Kakona, cause we love her. Oh shit, what the fuck? Holy crap, that is cool as shit. That is fucking cool. Can we scare these students? Oh, we can. That is so sick. Okay, let me pick up Riku. That is so freaking cool. Let me show the teachers. <laughs> let me show the teachers. Oh, what? No. Oh, there we go. That is awesome as fuck. And now Kakona's frozen. Look at that, guys. Their bodies were dead in the courtyard. You pick them up. And you're basically run carrying them. Let's actually see what the police would say about this. Are they dead? Because they're both up right here. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpses of Riku Soma and Kakona Haruka. Okay. So they are dead, but it's just a glitch that they look like they're alive. So when you pick them up, they're running in place. And then when you drop them, they're just frozen. That was actually really cool. I didn't think that it would be that awesome. Thank you for showing me that. On to the next one. One, spawn Saki Mind Slave. Two, tell Riku and Kakona to meet at the courtyard. Three, give Saki a weapon. Four, start assisting Riku in the dating sim. Five, will Saki kill Kakona during the cutscene? Six, if she kills Kakona, will she be alive when you exit the dating sim? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have everything set up. I have lover boy right here, lover girl right here. Saki the mind slave is slowly creeping up. Let me fast forward time just a little bit so I can make sure that she is on her way. And let's do this thing. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to bullshit, pretend to do this dating sim while Saki comes up. Hopefully she comes up. Oh, there she is. She's coming up. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, shit. All you see is a fucking hand. Oh, my God. That is fucking awesome. Okay. Uh. Oh, we can't do anything. It froze. Yeah. The game just froze out. I'm pressing down and up, and I can't go to positive remark or compliment or show off or give gift or finish or anything like that. But, yeah. Once the dating sim started, all you see is Saki's hand going up and down on the screen, stabbing her with that screwdriver. Oh, we can talk now. Yes. Uh, well, bye, I guess. Wow. I tried pressing something, and then it said bye, I guess. Is she alive again? Oh, she's dead. No, no, no. Let me try that again. Let me try that again. Another reason why I want to do this is because I want Saki to pin Kakona down as we're doing the dating sim, and not right before it, because she was already killing her right before the cutscene even started. So let's get Saki over here. That should be good, and time to do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please don't be there, Saki. Yes, Saki's not here yet. That's good. Hurry the fuck up, fuck boy. And we're good. Oh, shit. Nope. <laughs> she turned around and Saki was like, surprise, motherfucker. And then she just started stabbing that ass. All right, there, we're good. So let's do a negative remark. Let's talk about how much we don't like solitude. I agree with you. Yes, dead Kakona agrees with us. That's awesome. Positive remark. Let's talk about cooking. We definitely have the same opinion. Let's compliment her bloody twin drills. 
Oh, you think so? I'm glad you feel that way. I wasn't sure if they were silly. Show up our wisdom and give a rose. Oh my gosh, thank you. I love roses so much. Okay, thanks for taking time to speak with me. No problem, Kokona. So there you guys have it. Yes, Saki can kill Kokona during the dating sim cutscene. You can still play it, but once you're finished with it, she will be dead. Riku's gonna run away and tell a teacher because he's a freaking snitch. That was awesome as hell to see. On to the next one. Can you make Kokona and her boy kiss during the confession scene while in Titan mode? All right, as you guys can see over there, Kokona is running over to the hill. And in about a minute, the pure slick hair glasses wearing lover boy is going to find the confession note in his locker. Bingo! There you go. He's reading it like the back of his hand. And he's running over to the tree, and so shall we. I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit tough to see if they kiss or do anything in Titan mode. So I might just do it normally right now, and then again while it's in cinematic. Like, I'll position a camera somewhere. So let's put it in Titan mode. There you go. I'm pretty sure we can do this. And yes, you can trigger the confession scene while in Titan mode. All you see is their big ass feet. Kakona meets Riku under the Sakura tree. Kakona confesses that she has developed deep feelings for him, even though we can't see jack shit. Riku tells Kakona that he feels the same way about her. Yeah, I don't feel the same way about your vinegar smelling toes, bitch. Kakona and Riku share a tender kiss as Sakura blossoms fall around them. I'm assuming that they kissed because they got a little bit closer to each other. And there you go. You can trigger it in Titan mode. And they are basically fused together. You guys can see that right there. But we didn't see jack shit though. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to position the camera right about here. And then when I see Riku running up, I'm going to run up behind them like so. And hopefully we can trigger it from there and see them doing the whole confession scene with an actual view this time and not of their gross ass feet. Okay, lover boy is running up the hill. So we are going to put it in Titan mode and then put it here and let's see if we can do this thing. Oh, what the hell? Why is he bent over like that? <laughs> oh, yeah, because he's out of breath. There we go, there we go. Cutscene is triggered. Let me just keep fast forwarding it. Ah, there you go. They're hugging, kinda. They're not really doing anything though. They kinda just hugged, like Riku hugged the air and Kakona was like looking up at the air like her shit don't stink. But I think that was the end of the cutscene, yeah. It was really quick. I just like skimmed through it. So to answer your question, they do the same exact thing in the confession scene, but they're just giant ass titans. Thank you for asking that. On to the last myth of today's episode. Here's a good one. 1. Have a mind slave but don't do anything. 2. Kill Riku in front of Kakona. 3. Have her chase you. 4. Quick give the mind slave a weapon even though you put money and D slave. What the fuck? 5. Have Kakona battle you and kill her when Saki starts the animation. Watch magic happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate the gym teacher because she is a major cock blocker and she is going to try to kill me once I kill Riku. So bye bye and bam, <gasps> you're dead. Okay, so let me just pick her body up and we're just going to hide her over here. So let me get the turtle to forgive thy sins. Thank you, my dude. And we are going to get, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Oh, I know what to do. So let's get them to do the dating sim thing. So they're all the way over there. There you go. And once I get it to work, I'm just going to end it right away. And then I'm going to give the Mind Slave a weapon. And then I'm going to start fighting Kakona. That's how they want me to do it, right? Yeah. Give the Mind Slave a weapon when Kakona's chasing me. Got it. Okay. So let's trigger this cutscene. There you go. End it right away. And now all I got to do is this. Ask a favor. Follow me. I gotta get him in front of me so Kakona can see this. So let's eliminate. There you go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Give a weapon. There you go. Fuck. Now I need a weapon. Now I need a weapon. Ah! Get the weapon. Get the weapon. Ah, shit. Fuck. Okay, I need to have two weapons handy. Why didn't I think of that? All right, redo. Okay, let's try this one again. Let me do this. Did she see that? Yep, she saw it. Okay. And then give the weapon, and now we have a box cutter. Yeah, boy. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Damn, Kakona is strong no. as shit. <gasps> okay, third time's a charm, right, guys? 
All right, let's do this again. Uh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh, fuck. Did I kill Kokona right away? Did I do it? I did. Damn you, Saki. Fuck you. I'll kill you first. Shit. This is going to be insanely difficult to time right, but you know what? I'm going to make sure I get it just for you guys. Redo. All right, let's do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on, come on. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Kill her, kill her, kill her, kill her. Yes! I finally did it! Okay, what's the magic? What's the magic? Can I pick her up? Where's the magic? Really, nigga? Is this magic? Do you believe in magic? Or is that the magic? No? What the fuck? I don't get it. I tried this so many times, and I finally got it to work. This is like the same animation, but I'm just picking up her body. This is what you want me to do, bro? <laughs> Just have Saki sitting like that. Oh, and then now she's muff diving. Okay. I tried that many times. I finally got it to work. And that's what happened. I could pick her body up and drag it as Saki is killing her. I guess that's the magic. Let me actually try that again. I'll kill her as soon as Saki pins her to the ground. And let's see if something different will happen. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. All right. And... Come on, 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 come on. There you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, I killed her as soon as it started. That was like the perfect timing. Is this the magic? No? I can pick her up again. Can't really do anything. She's still dead. Uh, There's nothing really I could do. I guess I could just pick up the body. That's the magic. That's the magic, everybody. Thank you, Taylor. I have found the magic. <laughs> and it's the ability to pick up and drag Kakona's body while Saki is still doing her killing animation. But if you were a magician, I think I'd have to give you a 4 out of 10 in terms of magic quality, because I don't really think I saw the magic happen. But I appreciate you, bro, and I love you. Thank you to everybody whose myth or question I did in today's video. If you have any more comments, questions, challenges, or myths you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. And also, thank you all so much, guys, for all the support. I'm a little bit sick right now. I don't know if you could tell in my voice or my energy levels, but thank you all so much for all the support. If you enjoyed this video, Video, make sure you give it one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!